Do you think your dog cares about the color of his or her food? Actually, your dog is likely not even able to differentiate between the colors in the food. Yet, so many dog food manufacturers use coloring agents that may even harm our dog's health, especially over time because we keep feeding the dog food to our dogs for months, uh, years, maybe even the whole life of the dog. Well, it's not even only dog food, dog treats as well may have been painted. Some of these coloring agents or food dyes are well known for likely being harmful to our health. And some are even banned in certain countries, yet they may show up in your dog's food. Let's look at what food dyes may do to our dogs, what to look for on dog food labels to avoid food dyes, as well as the best way to avoid food dyes in your dog's food. Hi, I'm Ingen, the Norwegian Viking behind Viking Dog Girl. I hold a certificate as a pet food nutrition specialist and I'm here every week sharing all things dog. Basically, I want you to be able to live the best possible life with your dog. And that includes dog nutrition, dog health, lifestyle, and I like to do things the Viking way, which means no sugar coating and no BS. I go for the truth and I'll give it to you straight so that you can help your dog be as healthy, happy, and live as long as possible. Now, since we're talking about food dyes or the color of food, you might be wondering what colors do our dogs see? Well, it's not exactly the same, though it can be compared with a person who is colorblind. Dogs do see color, though they see a lot less than we humans. Their spectrum of colors mainly goes from a bit of brown, yellowish colors to blue. So the colors that we usually see in dog food would likely look all the same to our dogs. And that's probably how it would look if dog food manufacturers didn't even add any coloring. So we humans use our sight a lot when evaluating whether or not uh, a food looks good to us, though dogs use their sense of smell a lot. Now, don't worry, dog food manufacturers kind of have us covered on that as well, as they often add some sort of, you can say, spray on flavoring at the, around the kibble. That's a topic for another video though. Now, the real question is why would they even add coloring agents to dog food, especially if those coloring agents may even be harmful to our dogs, if dogs don't even care about the color of their food? Well, the answer is, it's for you. Dog food manufacturers want to appeal to you. They want to color the food so that it looks like the food contains, for instance, all these um, natural ingredients, like for instance, meat or peas, carrots. You are the one that decides what food to buy for your dog. Your dog doesn't get any choice in this. Or does he, she? You're the one who goes to the supermarket or pet store or wherever you buy the food for your dog. And one of the important things that even after buying, if you open the bag, is the way it looks. And if you think it looks uh, appealing, then you might be more um, enticed to buy it later on as well. Now, while I was looking into food dyes, I just happened to stumble up on a New York Times article from 1974. And in this article, they were talking about FDA approving uh, one specific food dye, namely red number two. And there was quite a lot of controversy around this because it was even believed that red number two uh, could cause fetal death and deformities as well as cancer. So food dyes have definitely been a um, bit of an issue for quite some time, some controversy around that. And we might have gotten better, though we still use food dyes in our dog's food, even though they have no nutritional value. Our dogs don't even care, likely, about the color at all. And there's still that potential that it could be harmful. And there's one important thing here as well, and that is that 
it may even be worse for our dogs than it would be for us to eat food dyes. And that the reason is that our dogs eat the exact same food every single day. If we end up eating the same type of food dyes, it may be because we eat some candy on the weekend, for instance. There are other ways we might end up eating food dyes as well, though it might not, it, it's not necessarily for every single meal. So the accumulative effect of food dyes that go into our dog's bodies over the whole lifetime of the dog could be much more harmful than we even can imagine. Now, let's look at how food dyes or coloring agents may be harmful to our dogs. There are not many studies on dogs and not always on humans either. It might be other animals, though we'll have to do with the studies that we have. Now, one way is that it may cause cancer. Now, the food dyes themselves seem to not really necessarily cause cancer apart from possibly red number three. However, they may be contaminated with known carcinogenic substances. Another thing food dyes can do is to cause allergic reactions. Several food dyes have actually been shown to cause allergic reactions. And this is something that's quite interesting, especially for our dogs, because so many dogs out there actually have allergic reactions. And we might not even be able to figure out why or what's causing those allergic reactions. Sometimes vets even are not able to figure it out. Sometimes people change from food to food and they still don't get proper results. However, quite a lot of people report that when they switched from commercial dog food over to an all natural homemade diet, all those allergic reactions vanished. Of course, there are so many benefits to such a natural diet that could have had an amazing impact, though one of them is the lack of coloring agents. Another thing food dyes may do is to cause hyperactivity in children. One study that looked at the evidence from other studies on the effects of artificial food coloring concluded that our meta-analysis supports the hypothesis that artificial food colorings promote hyperactivity in hyperactive children. And this might be the case for dogs as well. Now, there are other harmful things that people claim food dyes can do to people, animals, though not all the evidence is necessarily that strong. What it all comes down to, however, is the frequency and the amount of exposure. As we've talked about, that's how it can be much worse for our dogs because they might get these food dyes in their food every single day possibly even for their whole life. And there may be an accumulative effect of this that hasn't even been studied properly. There are so many dogs out there that get cancer these days. It's very, very common. And most dogs eat dog food and dog treats. The bottom line is that there are several scary things that could happen. We don't know if they're going to happen, though because of a possible accumulative effect of our dogs eating uh, food dyes every single day, it's a bit more scary. Plus, if there's no benefit of coloring agents for our dogs, why take the risk? Now, to avoid feeding these dyes to our dogs, we need to be able to tell whether or not dog food contains these ingredients. First though, just remember for lots more tips on all things dog, remember to click that subscribe button and turn on notifications to follow my channel. And remember to follow me on Instagram at Viking Ingen. Now on the dog food packaging, go to the ingredient list and look for anything that starts with red, yellow, blue, and then a number. For instance, it, it may be red three, red 40, yellow 5, yellow 6, blue 1, blue 2. Actually, sometimes it even just says color, which I would be very skeptical of. You may also notice that a lot of times if there's one of them added, they add several other ones as well. So the accumulative effect of having more different ones, I don't even know if that has been studied properly. Now you can also look for no 
artificial coloring agents or no artificial coloring uh, written somewhere on the dog food packaging as well. Though just be a little bit um, skeptical about this as well, especially if it says no artificial coloring added. The thing is, dog food manufacturers sometimes use ingredients that are already processed somehow and those ingredients may already contain preservatives, maybe even coloring agents and if they didn't add any extra in the dog food mixture, they might even be able to write no artificial coloring added. You see, there are lots of tricks that dog food manufacturers can use to make us think that the food is much healthier than it really is. Now, it does seem like um, the cheapest foods are the ones that do use coloring agents, uh, at least food dyes, the ones that are maybe harmful to our dogs. Though even if they don't use food dyes, there may be lots of other ingredients that may simply not be good for our dogs. In general, it's important that you look at the ingredient list of the food and see if you can even understand most of the ingredients. We know natural whole foods are the healthiest for us, so it makes sense that that's the case for our dogs as well. So look for dog food that has the most natural ingredients and also ingredients that make sense for our dogs. Now the best way to make sure you avoid all the tricks um, that dog food manufacturers use and to make sure your dog eats the healthiest possible food is to feed a homemade diet. With a homemade diet you can decide exactly what goes in your dog's food and you can make it as healthy as possible. It may sound like a lot to start feeding your dog a homemade diet if you've been used to feeding commercial dog food so far, though it's important to note that it can be quite simple to do so. It takes a bit of learning in the beginning to make sure that you feed the, the nutritious foods that your dog needs, the ones that are uh, nutritious and bioavailable to your dog, though once you get a hang of it, it can take as little as just a few minutes on a day-to-day -day basis if you just follow some simple steps. To help as many dog owners out there feed the most nutritious and delicious diet possible, I've created the Viking Dog Diet System. This system is based on science and it shows you step by step how to feed a highly nutritious, all natural and delicious diet to dogs in a very simple way. It includes meal examples and even meal by meal how to transition your dog to this all natural diet. What you feed your dog can be the single most important thing you do for your dog's health. So make sure it's the best possible because feeding a highly nutritious and healthy diet to dogs may even extend their life. Check out the Viking Dog Diet System right now at vikingdogdiet.com. You may find the link below this video. Remember to click the thumbs up and share this video so that more dogs out there can stay safe from those potentially harmful food dyes. Give your beautiful dog a hug for me and I'll see you next time. Bye.